All right, guys, we're in the same situation yet again with the Plumbing X Max. Servo is completely shot. Um, that's a, a JX EcoBoost 36 servo inside there, and it's the third servo on this car now. I've ordered an AGF 55 kilogram servo. It's the last one I'm ever going to put in this car because I've just about had enough of this thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether it's this spring on the on the servo saver that's massively too tight. If you want to do it too much, the top flies off and the whole thing just falls apart. So I'm going to start stripping it. Um, I'll do, do this video and I'll show you the size of the rock that this thing hit. It weren't going very fast, um, and it just destroyed that servo. It's completely knackered. It's I can fit when it's on the power, you can feel it grind in the teeth. It's, they're just absolute junk. Um, the tracks of servo, um, the plastic thing just keeps stripping. I just about had enough. So. Right guys, I've got the servo out, this is what happens to it when I turn the power on to it because I'm using an external BES, BEC to power it. Brand new, brand new servo, probably done 45 minutes of run time with it, absolute junk. Right guys. I don't know if you can see that, it's completely and utterly stripped the teeth off the top of it there. Um, right guys, looking at this servo saver from GPM, you believe this is the cause of the problem. They are so deep, these teeth in there, that spring is virtually undone. It's only on by a couple of turns on the thread. And it don't it don't even jump over the top. It don't, it don't even start to compress the spring. We reckon I'm gonna have to grind some of this off the back here so that at least it will compress and spring rather than beating the servos to pieces because that ain't enough. You can always tighten it down a touch, see, and put some grease or something on it because it was all a bit tight. So I think that's the problem. That almost virtually, even with this off, and you're just holding the spring, that don't jump over the top of there. There's no way it's going to work. Right, guys, we have discovered a few things. Um, I took this apart, and um, I give it a clean up. I put some grease on it. I know a lot of people say don't put any grease, but there's lots of aluminium and 
there's a steel post inside there. It's all gone a bit tight. I believe this is what's been causing some of the issues with the servos. But, um, as you can see now, he is now lifting on the spring. Whereas before, he just wouldn't move. Even with this really undone, he wouldn't move at all. He'd just sit there and be locked up tight. So I put some grease on there, some um, car CV jointing grease, just fully waterproof. I didn't smarm loads all over it because I don't want loads of grit and junk getting in there. But it's actually doing what it's supposed to do and move. So I believe that what's been happening is the wheels have hit stones. It's just been wrecking the servos. Um, a bit of a controversial thing. I've been on JX Servos um, Facebook page in the UK. And I've been buying servos from AliExpress. For, from JX. And they are... Put, they've put a warning up, which I will put in this video, not to buy JX servos from AliExpress, as they're an unauthorised retailer, and that they are claiming that most of them are fake. Um, and everybody comments to say that they only last around five to ten minutes. Basically, it's a you know, I've had about half an hour, an hour out of each one. I bought the 46 kilogram one. Same thing happened. The bottom gear was so, so thin it just sheared in half. And the um, EcoBoost, um, it stripped all the teeth off one side of it. Um, so they're made out of chiminium. So you don't really want to be buying them. Um, from unauthorized dealers, so we're going to try. The, like I say, we're going to try the um, AGF one, which is programmable. You plug it in your computer, you can change its parameters. Da 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 da. It's 55 kilogram, and um, we'll give that a whirl. That should be a Wednesday, um, and we'll give it a whirl and see how we get on. Because this car is really starting to, it's really starting to frustrate me every time I take it out the steering just breaks on it because of the knackered servos it's it's frustrating all right guys I shall uh, keep you up to date and when the new servo comes we'll do a second video